good evening friends in this video lecture we will talk about reproduction in cyanophyce cyanophyce reproduce principally by means of vegetative and sexual means sexual reproduction is literally absent we will talk about sexual reproduction at the end of the session vegetative reproduction occurs with the help of um, there are two methods of vegetative reproduction in this alga the one is um, simply the cell division and the other is uh, fragmentation cell division is the feature exhibited by the unicellular members like this uh, crococcus and also this uh, gloeocapsa this one is uh, gloeocapsa and this one is cyanocystis these are unicellular members they exhibit uh, cell division kind of uh, reproduction vegetative reproduction so what happens simply is the cell there is a single cell that divides um, into two cells sometimes more than two cells uh, are uh, remain enveloped uh, in a gelatinous sheet and if the cell division continues they may form colony kind of structure and the colony may get fragmented into smaller colonies or, or the cell or the gelatinous sheet may even get dissolved uh, into uh, and, and releasing the individual cells uh, that will enjoy their own life cycle because the, these members are unicellular so mm, the fragmentation kind of uh, the fragmentation uh, types of uh, vegetative reproduction is exhibited by the filamentous members uh, like the uh, nostoc anabina uh, oscillatoria all filamentous members uh, lingbaya this uh, gloeotrichia and the aphanizomenon cylindrospermum all filamentous members exhibit fragmentation fragmentation occurs because of the mechanical shearing generated by the water current or due to animal bites so this is a very common method of reproduction almost in all alga and in cyanophyce is, is not an exception uh, different types of sexual uh, reproductive structures or you can call spores uh, or similar to spore structures are formed in case of a uh, uh, cyanophyce uh, the most common is called the hormogonia hormogonium is the singular and hormogonia is the plural one what happens in case of members like lingbaya oscillatoria there are separation discs biconcave gelatinous uh, discs like this this type of structures present uh, in the filament or in the trichome at different places and the cells in between may get separated they may act like an unit and uh, like this and they may get separated uh, and, and they, they may come out of the shade uh, uh, giving rise to uh, germinating into a new filament like uh, in this manner they may, they may slide uh, inside the shade and they may come out uh, forming a new filament altogether this is uh, um, uh, the mode of reproduction by hormogonia or hormogones. In certain members like the Westiella, um, these structures are formed terminally at the, of, the, uh, of the filament. What happens? And the cells are a little bit different from the other vegetative cells. The transverse division is uh, quite frequent and, and the, the, the structure becomes spindle shepherd. The in between, the middle cells are quite wider. And, and this group of cells, they, they become enveloped by a thick walled structure and this acts like a resting spore. Uh, this is called hormospore. So these are perinating structures. They, they are usually formed under unfavorable environment and they help to perinate um, those harsh, uh, withstand the harsh environmental conditions. As soon as the environment, uh, the good environment uh, returns, uh, these hormospores might germinate into a filament. Uh, the other reproductive structures are these echinates. Echinates. This one is echinate. This is the case of uh, gluotrichia, where echinates are quite elongated structure, and, and this is heterocyst, which is present at the terminus. 
heterocyst is also supposed to be a reproductive structure. Um, let us first talk about echinids. Echinids are vegetative cells differentiated into a large structure uh, depositing uh, enormous reserve material inside. The cell becomes thick walled and it deposits reserve food and it, the, the whole unit acts like a resting structure. It may germinate into a full grown filament uh, when the environment becomes favorable. Like this, the wall ruptures uh, and, and the cell inside divides transversely forming a trichome or a filament kind of structure as the case may be. So echinates are mm, like this. In cylindrospermum, uh, heterocyst acts as a reproductive unit and the, the juncture of the heterocyst and the vegetative cell is relatively weaker and what happens, the cells in between, they get separated uh, and uh, they undergo vegetative mode of reproduction or they may also form a hormogonia kind of structure. Uh, another rep reproductive structure seen in case of uh, dermocarpa and chemisiphon the dermocarpa forms endospores. What happens? The protoplasm divides into many small units, and each of the unit might, uh, when when they are released uh, by the rupture of the cell wall. In, in certain cases, in dermocarpiella, uh, there is a pore through which these endospores come out. These endospores uh, might, uh, if the if the cell division continues further, the size of the endospore is uh, becomes very smaller, and in that case, it is called nanospore. These endospore and nanospores have also been termed baeocytes. So baeocytes are not, uh, nothing but these endospores. This is the um, characteristic exhibited by Dermocarpa or Dermocarpella. Chemisiphon uh, exhibits uh, another kind of reproductive structure. These are called exospores because they are formed outside. They bud out uh, from the um, protoplasm like this and they are released these smaller cells these units are called exospores and they may germinate into a new filament so these are the reproductive structures of cyanophyceae this is a anabina and in anabina you can see this is echinate these are the echinates this one and this one this is heterosis and these are the vegetative cells so this uh, anabina shows uh, the different arrangement of vegetative and echinates and the heterosis. These echinates and heterosis uh, both are the reproductive structures. The, um, hetero, some authors have claimed that heterosis, uh, though it is a nitrogen fixing structure, in, in certain cases it, it acts like a reproductive unit also, it acts like a spore also. So um, these are the methods of asexual mode of reproduction. Now let us talk about the sexual reproduction. In Sexual reproduction is literally absent. What happens in, in other uh, eukaryotic alga, you know, two gametes are being formed and those two gametes unite together uh, forming a, what is called a zygote. This kind of structure, the gamete formation is altogether absent. This is not found in case of cyanophyceae. Just like the other bacteria, because bacteria do not form gametes and they remain haploid all, uh, all through their life. So, how the sexual reproduction takes place? Like bacteria, the sexual reproduction is of the uh, more of this transformation. There are three modes of reproduction transformation, transduction, and conjugation. These are the methods of gene transfer, rather, it's not the fusion of two cells or gamete like cells like the original sexual reproduction. So, this has been called parasexual reproduction. As you know, transformation it is the transfer of naked DNA within a cell, and transduction probably is the most common mode of sexual reproduction or gene transfer in, in cyanophyceae. It is exhibited in, uh, in case of uh, anacystis. In case of uh, F. Ani, so men and in anabina, some species of anabina also exhibit this uh, mode of uh, transduction, mode of reproduction. Transduction occurs with the help of a uh, cyanophage. These are the viruses that infect cyanophyceae in algae. These are called cyanophage. One 
particular sinophase popular is LPP, uh, LPP1, LPP1. This sinophase infects um, certain uh, me certain members of uh, this this group of alga, and they pick up certain genes and they, they reinfect another host. Uh, during that, they transfer the particular gene into the new host. Conjugation uh, is supposed to be present in case of sinophysis, though um, there is no case um, uh, exemplified till now. So these are the various modes of reproduction in case of sinophysis. Hope it will help you. Thank you very much.